Shalom Aleichem, sweet sisters and brothers, how are you doing? In this lifetime, every person should remind himself of the true mission. True mission that we've been sent to the world um, to keep, to keep the word of Hashem, to keep the word of our Creator, and to make sure the world will reach its completion. The highest level of physicality is when it's attached to spirituality. Means that there is a spiritual attachment from every leaf, from every stone, every house, every situation to a divine world, to godliness. Now it's our mission to uplift all those intersections, all those links to the highest and most elevated aspect of it by using our faith. Our faith is our deep understanding of that inner connection to God. Means when we realize that that situation is not a simple coincidence, just it's a message from God or an opportunity to uncover the true potential of that situation or a clear message from God and education, educational um, experience by doing that, we are attaching ourselves to Him and uplifting that situation to that spiritual dimension. When you eat a fruit, you need to remember by reminding yourself of the fact that you believe, that you understand that there is a godly spirit that revives that fruit. That the reason that there is sweetness in that fruit is not a physical, natural um, cause. Um, or um, or an act of the creation itself by rules of nature. Just it is a direct decision of the Creator that sends angels for you to be satisfied, to have a certain uh, pleasure or joy or experience with the sweetness of that fruit, with the color, with the smell of that fruit. When you realize that things are above nature and not forced by nature, not being set by nature, by that you are uplifting that situation and that natural um, effect um, or act or reality to its highest level in the spiritual dimension. And every person is appointed and in charge and responsible on uplifting certain sparks in his lifetime. And the mission is just to do it and not to question and to think, how can I and what should I just to keep on doing it seriously in every moment of your life. And don't think to yourself, oh, I need colorful life. I need beautiful life. I need spiritual life. No, you need to work in the area and territory that the Creator set you on. And that is the area that you are appointed. This is the mission of your life. You need to uplift sparks from that place. There were people that were appointed to uplift sparks in Auschwitz, in Treblinka. There were people that are in charge to uplift the sparks from poor countries. There are people that are in charge to uplift the sparks from um, holy um, generations and poor and low spiritually generations. Everyone is appointed on a different job connected to the reality that is surrounding him. So now stop judging yourself and think that you need to change your reality. Just remind yourself of the fact that you are not the creator of the world and that the creator of the world, he himself set you in a certain place and sent you to a certain mission for you to accomplish the things that he needs you to do. So you just need to remind yourself in every situation that it's not yours or, 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 um, to change that it's not uh, your fault or 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 your problem you are in a mission it's a 24 hours a day mission always to remember Hashem and what's the purpose of your life in that situation means that you need to remember and to remind yourself in every moment of your life I am here with Hashem I am with Hashem and Hashem is with me. I am with Hashem and Hashem is with me. I am with Hashem and Hashem is with me. In every moment. Now what does it mean? It means that in every moment you need to attach yourself to that situation from a point of godliness, from a point of faith, from a point of inner connection 
to the power that revives and gives life, maintain life in that situation. If it's a fruit, Boreh Peri Ha'etz, the Creator created that fruit. If it's water, Shakol Niya Bidvaro, the Creator brought life into that thing. If it's a situation with a person that makes you upset, that makes you angry, Hashem sent him now to my life for me to work on my attributes, for me to work now on my faith, for me to understand the lesson and the mission with that person, with that situation. If it's a poor person, Hashem wanted me to find the generous point in my heart for me to express generosity and grace and all good attributes. If I see a person that is offensive, that is harsh, that is hard, that is attacking me or someone else, sometimes I need to be strong. Sometimes I need to protect the weak. Sometimes I need to defend those ones who need protection. Sometimes I need to be the one that is a, a, a defender of the crown of God. I need to be a warrior. I need to be a soldier. I need to be a savior. I need to show compassion. I need to show love. I need to show dignity. I need to be honest. I need to be clean. I need to be nice. All good attributes. And not only the kind and soft and, and, and grace ones. Also the ones that will show that you are strict and that you are strong and that you are powerful and that you are a true representative of the Creator. We must remember and remind ourselves of the fact that King David himself King David was a king. He was um, an amazing person. He was r ruling the world with strength and power. And in the same time, he was also able to be an author, to compose songs and to sing them, to pray and to love a woman and to raise children and to have relationship with many people and to be involved with the world. And he was a warrior. He was going to wars. He was fighting. He was making great changes in the world while using a sword and a bow and arrow. You need to understand that all the powers that have been given to you, been given to you for a purpose. And what's the purpose? To connect yourself to the divine will, to the will of God. What Hashem wants from me right now. Now He wants me to be kind. I'll be kind. Now he wants me to be strong and to protect myself or my friends. I will do so. In every moment of our lives, we need to ask ourselves, what is the mission now? How will I remember Hashem's will? By focusing, by looking deep into my mind and asking myself, what does Hashem wants from me right now? And if I'm asking myself that question, with an honest heart, I will find the honest answer. Because Hashem is close to everyone that will call Him with truth. Ask Hashem, let me know the truth. Please guide me in your path of truth and you shall find it. Don't give up, don't back off. We have a mission to complete, to bring the complete redemption to our world in our days and we shall succeed. Remember that and remember that you can do it because you're the chosen ones that have been sent to this world to bring the complete redemption for the last re generation. Complete redemption for the last generation is our mission. And we are succeeding while doing it with grace and love, friendship and truth. May Hashem answer all our prayers today. Amen.